welcome all of you to chemex lk youtube channel so today i decided to revisit my previous video uh, many of you ask about redo my potassium chlorate video so i decided to do that video today so basically we need two chemicals to do this experiment those are sodium hypochlorite and potassium chloride and i'm going to use about 10 percent sodium hypochlorite solution and potassium chloride uh, you can buy potassium chloride easily from the market and uh, i'm going to use about 500 milliliters of sodium hypochlorite for this reaction okay uh, without further ado let's uh, go to the video okay now you can see here in this one liter beaker i have taken about 500 milliliters of 10 percent sodium hypochlorite now i am going to heat this solution we need to boil this solution in this uh, boiling step that sodium hypochlorite is converted to sodium chloride and sodium chlorate and we need to remove this yellowish color then we can assume all the sodium hypochlorite is reacted and also when the time is right we can see some crystals of sodium chloride is forming. All right, now you can see here our solution is little bit cloudy and sodium chloride crystals are started to form and the volume of the solution is now about half of the starting volume and now we need to turn off the heating and let the solution cool down slowly. So now I'm going to cover the beaker with aluminium foil in that way we can uh, slowly cool down our solution after that let's see what we can do when our solution reached to room temperature i place our solution in a fridge now you can see here our cold sodium hypochlorite disproportionate solution here now the now there is a white color precipitate the precipitate is sodium chloride crystal our product sodium chloride still dissolved in the solution now the sodium chloride is a so very soluble salt in water so i am going to convert this sodium chloride into potassium chloride in that way potassium chloride is less soluble in water we can uh, take out potassium chloride as crystals to do that step now we need to first we need to filter the solution and get a clear solution After filtering our solution, now we need a saturated potassium chloride solution. Here in, in the beaker, you can see uh, this is my saturated potassium chloride solution. I made this by dissolving more potassium chloride in water until no more uh, solid is dissolving in water. So now we need to mix these solutions together and we do not need to mix solid potassium chloride crystals into our bleach solution. So first I am going to decant uh, saturated potassium chloride solution then mix the solution saturated potassium chloride solution with our uh, disproportionate sodium hypochlorite solution. Alright, now I'm going to mix this disproportionate sodium hypochlorite solution. Actually, now uh, in the solution we have unreacted sodium hypochlorite and sodium chlorate. And uh, now I'm going to mix equal amounts of uh, solutions together. In this case, I'm going to use 250 milliliters of saturated saturated potassium chloride because we have a, a disproportionate solution uh, about 250 milliliters now i mix the solutions together immediately you can uh, see a reaction but it is happening now we need to place this container in a fridge for 24 hours 
all right guys after 24 hours of cooling now you can see here bottom of the flask our product potassium chlorate is crystallized out so we need to filter these crystals very quickly and wash with little bit of ice cold water okay after filtering our product this is our final product looks like when the product is in the flask i saw it as a needle like crystal but actually that is uh, not a needle like crystal it is uh, more like flaky appearance so now we need to test our potassium chlorate all right uh, now to check the purity we can simply do a flame test like this and you can see here the purple color flame of potassium and the contamination of sodium is very little that is why uh, the bright yellow color is not there so we can confirm our product is almost pure so let's do another test for potassium chlorate all right now for this test uh, here i have uh, 1 gram of our product potassium chlorate and 0.5 grams of glucose now I am going to add two drops of sulfuric acid here then see if we can uh, observe a flame all right uh, as the next experiment, I decided to do the famous screaming gummy bear experiment. So in this tube, I have about a couple grams of potassium chlorate that we already prepared. Now I am going to melt this potassium chlorate and put gummy bear part. <laughs> 